y'all. Stephanie here with Minimalist Mom Life. Thanks for coming back to my channel. And if this is your first time, welcome. Today I am finishing up our house tour on minimalism with um, our closets. So I've shown the bed bedroom closets of the boys when I did their rooms, but I'm going to show you our master bedroom closet, what is basically our linen closet, and then our coat closet. So this is my side of our master closet. And I'll probably do a separate thing on clothes and minimalism, but you get the idea of what I have here. There is a few pieces of maternity wear in there that wouldn't normally be in there, but I don't buy a lot of maternity clothes. So for the most part, we just have um, shirts of all kinds, long sleeves. We live in California, so I don't have a seasonal wardrobe. It's kind of just all together at once. And I have dresses and shorts, skirts, jackets, T-shirts like workout wear. This is a little scarf hanger I got from Target. Jeans. And then same thing, a little jewelry organizer. There. Um, down here I have three high heels up at the top. And then some flats, more heels, boots. Sneakers. And then I'm wearing my sandals right now. And then if we come over to this side, it's the whole wall of closets. Let me show that really quick if you haven't seen the tour of our master room, you might not know that. So in here, <laughs> we have nothing up at the top you'll see on that side either except for one like kind of travel bag that I have and it has an extra wallet in it there too. And I haven't used in like two years, but for some reason I still have it. <laughs> so I have our vacuum in here and then my birthing ball that will go back to my mother-in-law. Um, it's really like her yoga ball after I have baby Lucy. We keep our printer in here because there is no place to put it in my husband's office. I'll show that really quick too as a quick little detour when I do, when I go over to the other closets. Um, but the printer's in here. We don't use it that often, but you do need to have one. So we just get it out whenever we need to. And this is my husband's side. Up top, it's like the computer box. My framed degree. <laughs> Definitely feel like I'm using that. Um, no, I love my degree. And at some point we will find a place that that needs to go in the house. Let me frame all of my husband's as well, maybe in his office or something. Um, and then just like printer paper, printer ink, the little rolling thing for my husband's knee, his shoes, um, then like just his jackets and stuff, ties. We keep our one piece of luggage down there full of other duffel bags and other luggage. And then we have our um, air mattress and we will be getting a new set of luggage soon so that'll take up a little bit more room. Then my husband's pants hangers. I just smushed all of these but then um, just all of his clothes. And that is the extent of his clothes that aren't in the dresser. And that is our whole closet. I'm going to walk you guys now out of the master bedroom. We'll go down the hallway into um, this is one of the ways I display our kids artwork. If you've seen my kitchen tour you know that I don't like the clutter of stuff like this on the um, refrigerator. But sometimes it's up here, some of the pictures up there. That's actually something that was at my baby shower and meant for bows, but I thought it would be cute for this. So repurpose all the things. And then just a cute little sign from Hobby Lobby. And then this is essentially, and I'm sure you guys hear kid noises in the background because real life here. This is essentially our linen closet. So not a lot of storage. And um, we have the boys' money jars for their little um, work that they do, their little chores. Just a few extra towels, a beach towel in the dryer, an extra night light, um, some tissues, and then just like files that we need to keep. There's two of those up there. And then down here is all of the extra blankets. So there are like, I think five or six blankets right there and then sheets and stuff all put together for when someone comes and uses the air mattress. That's the extent of our linen closet. Then over here is my husband's office. I've mentioned before he decorates it. Well, or doesn't decorate it, <laughs> but it is his space. Um, so, yeah. Go Bruins. And then over here in our living room, and I 
will leave the playlist if you want to see the rest of our house if this is your first time. Um, but that's what the living room looks like. The playlist of the rest of the house. We have an extra marker board. Um, Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace. We're huge Dave Ramsey fans, especially myself. Um, so we loan that out quite a bit and we've done that study with people in our home before. And the books next to that, along with the marker board, are things that come out and we have Bible study in our home once a week. And so um, the books, some of them are just as like freebies that people can take home and then extra Bibles. Our games, woohoo, Settlers of Catan nerds over here. The boys' um, coats for when it's cooler. And then those are the extra chairs that we put out in the living room for Bible study nights and parties and stuff. Then um, just my cleaning supplies. So that is it for the coat closet. And that concludes my house tour. I hope y'all have enjoyed it. If you have, click the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. See y'all next time.